From homes to downtowns, Kelloland is aglow with holiday spirit. And tonight's Eye on Kelloland, Kelly Volk takes us to a Sioux Falls neighborhood that's not only lit up for Christmas, but helping our nation's heroes. <laughs> through a neighborhood in southern Sioux Falls and you'll find yourself surrounded by Christmas. Ryan Bournes and his husband Scott Enan are the creators of Lights on Lotta. It just started as decorating our house and we expanded to the neighbors next door there and then across the street and all the way down <laughs> and everybody started jumping in and helping us too. So. From inflatable snowmen to blinking lights, the festive street offers a bright spectacle to passers-by. A lot of times kids are hanging out the windows and talking about everything and hooting and hollering and having a good time. Providing some holiday entertainment is only part of the mission for this couple. This is the fourth year Lights on Lotta is raising money for organizations supporting veterans. Last year, this twinkling sight brought in nearly $15,000. It's just great to give back for what they've done to keep our freedom. Come on, tap. Big Paws Canine Foundation is one of the nonprofits that will benefit from Lights on Lotta. The organization trains and donates service dogs to veterans with disabilities and former first responders injured in the line of duty. This is huge because we're going through a big transition this year in that we're going to uh, be working towards opening our own facility as opposed to a rental facility. So every donation means the world to us, but especially uh, because our friends here in, in uh, Sioux Falls have always been so generous during this event that this, this is one of our, our biggest events of the year. Donations will also help the nonprofit Canines for Warriors. By taking a stroll down the street, you can support those who served and take in some holiday cheer. If uh, we weren't doing this, we wouldn't, you know, a lot of people wouldn't have as much of enjoyment and, uh, and to be able to give back to uh, their service members and helping them with their canines is, is the main reason. Just remembering as a kid driving down Candy Cane Lane or wherever and enjoying the lights and I want to be a part of that and so does my husband, so. <laughs> with Eye on Kelloland, I'm Kelly Volk. There are donation boxes on both sides of the street. The couple says you can also find Lights on Lada on Venmo, or you can reach out to them on social media if you'd like to donate. To find the neighborhood or other holiday light displays, head to this story on kelloland.com.